Welcome to Stack Tracks Live. I'm Anthony. This is my beautiful demo lens, and we are going to rock and roll for this 30 minutes. Now, if you see lens right here, get your body warmed up just like what she's doing. If she's jogging, I want to see you jogging. If she starts doing squats, I want you to start doing some squats. Now, if you haven't seen the beginning of the video here or seen the setup, just understand we need the multi bar at the middle track. We need the green bands to be looped around, right? Nice and around, just a nice little circle, right? It's kind of like an airplane. Please put your seatbelt on, right? And the mask over your head, uh, pull to inflate. All right, and the handle down at the bottom. We can start warming it up. We are gonna be going about three to four minutes or so with a warm up. Now, if you need more time to warm up, we do suggest pausing the video, right? Or waking up a little bit more, a little bit earlier to get your body moving and grooving. So just kind of take that in, uh, in, in your head space when you're doing these classes that if you need a little bit more time to warm your body up, get up a little bit early, jump five, 10 minutes before and get your body moving and grooving because 30 minutes is fast and furious. And we want to make sure that you are loosened up through your shoulders and through your legs. So your hinge pattern right here, this T scale that Lindsay's doing. So get your body warmed up, feeling good. And getting your body warmed up means priming it. Get a little bit of sweat on, get the movements that you're going to be doing in this class going, right? Hip hinges, squat patterns, shoulder mobility, right? Range of motion, balance, stability. Make sure that you're feeling that. Get a little bit of your heart rate up. Okay, excellent job. So we're going to go for about one more minute. I'm going to even put it on my stopwatch right here, and we're going to get it going. So Lindsay's using the bar as a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a full range of motion tool for her, which is perfect. And we're going to make that happen. All right. Jog it right out. It's got a little side step, little squat push lateral. I want to see another 30 seconds, another 30 seconds of moving and grooving. Also, for today, you will be using some dumbbells. So if you do have dumbbells, excellent. Awesome. If you don't, don't stress out about it. You can do everything with your stack tracks without one dumbbell. It just adds a little bit to it. And we know that some people from home training and beyond, we have a couple sets of dumbbells every so often. Grab the can of corn, grab your five-pound dumbbell or your 20-pound dumbbell, right? So we definitely have some ability to do so. What I want to see right here is I want you to hold on to the multi bar and I want you to go just quickly 20 seconds of reverse lunge. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go for it. Thir 20 seconds with your reverse lunge. We then are going to go into about a 10 second breather. This is going to be your standard Tabata style right now. For the first few sections, we are going to go right into Tabata style 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So in three, two, one, relax here in 10 seconds from now. All I want you to do is do drop squats. I want you to stay on the multi bar to keep that balance. So you can add a little bit of speed. Are you ready? Three, two, and one. You can see what Lindsay's doing here. This is called a drop squat. Feet are together. Then you drop right down, absorbing that landing and getting those muscles firing right up. How you feeling, Lindsay? Feeling good? I'm tired already, she says. Here we go. In three, in two, in one, relax. Now for the third exercise with this Tabata style lower body work, I want you to do that curtsy lunge. So you're going to see Lynch. She's going to kick that leg back right at that angle, holding on to the bar and crossing over her body. Let's go. 20 seconds. Excellent. 20 seconds with it, firing it through. Yep. Side to side. As you can see, we're starting to bring the body up in temperature a little bit and going a little bit more and we can relax right here. Make sure you're evened off with your body 10 seconds. And we are going to rock and roll this through just a little bit more with a little bit more kind of aggressiveness to it. If you want to do some lunge drops instead of just reverse lunges, but here we go. 20 seconds back to that reverse lunge. Ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. What we're doing, 20 seconds. Work that full range of motion. You can lunge drop. 
you can go reverse where you're just stepping back nice and smooth. In three, in two, in one, relax. Now, shake out those legs if you need to. We're going right back into the drop squats. We are only going to do two sets of this block. So ready and go. I know you can bring it. We're going right into the drop squats. If you want to go into a squat jump like you're seeing Linz do, you can go into a squat jump. You're taking your body plyometrically, driving up triple extension through your ankles, knees, and hips. Or, oh yeah, it burns because you only got five, four, three, two, and one. We are hammering out that lower body right now. Just understand that a lot of this is your lower body, legs, really glutes, firing through this curtsy lunge now. Ready? And let's go. We're going to get that curtsy going, firing it through. A little curtsy lunge. Keep your shoulders and your body squared up. Right, boom, dropping down, lunge. What we love about using with the multi bar is being able to keep your balance and get that full range of motion. That's huge. Relax. 10 seconds here. Now, we don't need anything right now. I want you to look at the screen. We're going to run it through, right? All I want you to do either run, jog, fast feet, jumping jacks. We're going to take really 40 seconds, 40 seconds to just get that cardio up. You can do jumping jacks. This is kind of client's choice, if you would. Get your heart rate up. If you want to attach the green, green band and sprint, you can, but we will be using it right after to do a leg press. So be ready to have that green band wrapped around your multibar on top, linked together, and then you're going to step on it so you can press it down. This one's going to be a fun one. So we got some glutes firing 10 more seconds here get that heart rate up understand we only got 30 minutes so really maximize this effort by training with intention and firing through this whole entire time if you need a breather of course take it and you can relax right now now remember before starting any of this consult your doctor or stop if you feel faint or dizzy. Okay. No matter what we say, this is about you, not about us. So here we go. We're going to get into this leg press, given lens and you just a little bit of time to breathe, but here we have one foot into the green band, right? And they should be on both bands and you're going to press right down. Now, as you get stronger with this movement, we can start practicing this. I won't put us on a timer just yet. I wanna kind of see you pressing it down, practicing this movement. You may find that your knee shakes all over the place, that maybe you're not getting as much extension as you'd like to. Well, if you'd like, you can start learning how to press it down and behind your body just a little bit more, leaning into it, extending those arms even, kind of bringing your body away from the bar but it can get extremely difficult. So as you get stronger, you'll see how you can progress this. Let's switch legs during this first round. And don't worry about the reps. Don't worry about the time with this new exercise for most people. This one, I want you to just practice and play. This is how you're able to do a leg press, something that you might be doing like from the gym or go, oh my God, how do I get a leg press machine with a, with a multi-bar? Well, this is how you do it. It's a single leg banded resistive press. Try to go down and behind your body a little bit or bring that foot down back to where that foot is static on the ground. Say the opposite foot, if you would. Ready? Three, two, one, relax. Now I'm going to have Lynn's back away for a second because what I want us to do is we're going to grasp the concept where we're here in this 45 degree angle where you're going to go and I want to see you do a mountain climber. We're going to take what you just did with the bungee, right, right with the band. And I want you to start doing a mountain climbing wall drill. Arms are going to be fully extended. Really extend those arms drive the knee up towards the wall. Don't allow that body to stand tall. I want you to come down at that 45 degree angle and work your core and work this driving action like you were trying to push this multi-bar through the wall. This is an accelerated wall drill. 
A lot of athletes need to get more explosive in training. This is how we are going to do it. And this is how young athletes can drive those knees up, fire up and down. And trust me, relax. Your calves might be hurting you tomorrow, right? We've had clients that love doing calf work. And then all of a sudden we do something like a wall drill. And then whew, the next day they're going, oh my God, my calves are killing me. All right. So here we go. What I want you to do now is grab one dumbbell, one dumbbell. This is our second block. And we're starting to get more into this lift. Now that dumbbell does not do, need to be super heavy. I don't want it to be super light. I want you to be in that range of around that six or seven on the weight scale, right? So if you have a weight that you feel kind of challenged by. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to grab the multi-bar and I want you to just hold it there and I want you to go right into reverse lunge with that weight. All right, reverse lunge with the weight. Now you're going to see that Lindsay is stepping back with her right leg, meaning the weight is in her right hand and she is holding on to the multibar with her left. Now, the reason why I want you to hold on to the multibar is because I want you to take the stability component out of this lunge. I want you to get that full range of motion and I want you to feel confident that you can go all the way down to the ground without hurting your knee. Let's switch legs. Now, being that this is the first round of the second group, and I just dished out a whole bunch of exercises for you, we are going to go back after we get through about another 10 seconds or so with this opposite side of the reverse lunge. And again, you can see how her left leg is going back, meaning her left arm is what's holding, her left hand is what's holding the weight. And three, two, and one, relax. Place that weight off to the side. Now that we've gone through that group, and I know you've been working hard. You've been pushing through every single moment. And if you're watching Linz, get that heart rate jogging up because I'm going to explain how we're going to hammer out this second block of exercises. We have our leg presses, right? We have our wall drills and we have those reverse lunges. Here, we are going to drive home and we're going to hit another 20 seconds on. Try to minimize that 10 seconds and do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off sequence through this whole routine. Two rounds through it all. So Linz, let's go right back to that green band. Let's get back to those green bands and doing those leg presses. Remember, extend those arms through, bring that knee up and drive down and behind like you're almost doing that wall drill, but now it's resisted. Make it challenging for yourself. 20 seconds has started. Drive that foot. Sometimes it doesn't look so pretty. I know why, because here is where we're working the stability of your hip, right? The hip flexors, the extenders, everything that needs to drive through. You're doing more work than you think you are. And that is why it's so unstable. You can relax. Let's switch sides. Immediately get right into it. Try to have minimal rest up to about 10 seconds. But if you are ready to go, I want you to drive it down. That's it. Try to bring that foot back down towards that foot that is static on the ground. Keep that core tight as well. Try not to round your body over. Sometimes we want to compensate by bringing that body and rounding it forward. Make this challenging. And yes, it is okay that your leg is wobbling all over the place. That is part of getting better with this movement. Excellent job. Relax. Shake it out. Take that band. Push it right back on the multibar. Extend those arms. Get into this beautiful 45-degree position. And you're going to hit down and behind. You're driving your knee up towards that wall and extending down and behind your body. Let's go. Crank it out. Draw in that core. Come on. Come on. Big knee drive. Try to go down. I'm trying to get her flat back. Right? Draw it in. It is tough. It is tough. Come on. Drive three, two, one, and relax. Beautiful work. Grab that weight. Grab that weight. Grab that dumbbell. And if you do not have any weight or dumbbells, it's all right. You can go body weight reverse lunge. Let's go right into it. Reverse lunge with the weight. If you want to add a curl to it, you can. You can add a curl to that reverse lunge. If you want to make it even more difficult, you can put that weight at your shoulder and hold it at your shoulder height. We have three, 
two, and one. Relax, you can switch sides. Get right into it if you want. You can see that weight positioning becomes a really important factor when it comes to the difficulty of an exercise. You can go from low, right, right by your side, to putting it at your shoulder, to then going overhead if you really want to, but that takes a lot of shoulder mobility and it's difficult, but you can take one weight and put it in three different positions and make it hard. So that's another side note, little coach's tip in three, in two, in one, relax. Beautiful job. Lens, how you feeling? Yeah, you're starting to do a little sweat on, right? As you can tell, we have this lower body work going on today. We are hammering out our glutes, getting the quads firing. I'm going to have you right now continue to jog. We're going to jog it through for about 40 seconds. So if you want to run it up, client's choice, your choice, get your body moving and grooving. One thing that we are going to do, and you can either do this in the uh, <laughs> right now if you want to as well instead of the cardio, but I'm going to do it for Lens because that's what we do. We help each other out with all this. So, all right. So here, I want you to attach your green band, right? You're not looping it. You're just attaching the carabiner so that the green band is long. So if you want to continue to do cardio, you can do that, or you can set up your green band right now where I want you to attach it with the carabiners down low. And here, Lindsay, you can relax. What I want you to do is I want you to put and step into the band, just one leg, just one leg. So right here, you have Lens who stepped in with your right leg and you put it right up near your hip. Now, what I want you to do is actually step out with your left leg and you're gonna do a static split squat. Ready? Let's go. So if you're taking time getting your band squared away, I want you to stay in a static lunge position Lindsay likes to say, be an elevator, not an escalator, right? And I want you to work going straight down. That band should be up in your hips, right? This is really working a nice stretch for your hip flexor and putting that hip into position to say, hey, I got to stabilize. Your body's going to want to be ripped back. That's the fight that you need to be in. So I want you to go straight up and down, feel that stability that you need to keep your body in position. Lens, how are you feeling? Burns yeah, it burns the quads, burns that isometric hold really in that hip. So in three, two, one, let's switch. Now this one exercise here does a couple of things that you might not realize. We're gonna go right back into it. We're going about 20, 30 seconds as we kind of practice these movements. But what we are working on here is that it's giving you the stretch in their hip flexors. A lot of times that muscle, that muscle grouping gets really shortened and it's hard for us to stand, get that full extension. And we can get lower back pain just by having tight hip flexors. So this one movement allows you to not only get that burn and that muscle activity going, but works on that stabilizers and works on getting that muscle to start waking itself up again in three, in two in one excellent now what i want you to do is step both feet into the green band and bring it right to your waist here what i want you to do is i want you to jump out boom back pedal back jump out back pedal back all right excellent what i want to see you do here is we're going to go about 20 seconds if you feel comfortable i want you to really try to jump out really hard back pedal right back. If you have to step back, you can do that. If you do not like the jumping, what you can do is you can step out, you can step back, you can bring yourself out and you can do your fast feet just to keep that heart rate moving and grooving. All right, really try to keep that band as tight as possible. Even when you back pedal, don't let it become loose. In three, in two, in one, relax. You feeling good there? Excellent. Keep that band around your waist, all right? And what I want us to do on this first round is just work a hinge pattern. So have your body come all the way out and work a hinge pattern. That means that you are gonna push your hips back and start the movement 
from your waist, from your hips really, right? Watch the difference. A squat pattern is more knee dominant, straight up and down, where we're breaking at the knees. Whereas this hinge pattern, you're breaking right at those hips and squeezing through. And you should be able to extend through and squeeze your glutes. Now in the second and third round, I'm gonna want us to hold weights in our hand for this one movement. So we'll get weights right after this. So relax right here. Let's take those bands right off. Let's grab some weight, grab two dumbbells that you feel confident and set them up right in your space, okay? We have our next block ready to go. So once you have your weights off to the side, what I want us to do is let's run it up, run it up, feeling good, getting those heart rates firing. Client's choice right here. We're gonna go for about 30 seconds or so. I want you to run it through. Heart rate needs to get elevated right now. You can do your muscle up. You can jump up and through. You can get that heart rate moving and grooving any which way. And at this point too, you can also attach that green band, which I might have Lindsay do a little bit later to do a little bit of that sprinting forward and backwards. So if you are rocking and rolling, ready to go, we are going to get this party started. All right, here we go. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. If you remember, we are going to do that static split squat. Oh, guess what? You have weight right next to you. You can grab one dumbbell and I want you to hold it at your chest, right? Hold it up. If you have a kettlebell, you can hold it. And what I want you to do is hold it at that chest height. And I want you to go straight up and down. We are going to go for 20 seconds on this one leg. I have Lindsay holding her dumbbell at her face. If you have a kettlebell, you can hold it. If you have two dumbbells that are super light. You can hold both of them up at your chest height, but work to go straight up and down, just like what Lindsay's doing while she's stabilizing. We got three, two, and one. Relax. Place that weight down. I want you to switch those legs. I want you to grab that dumbbell. Get in that position and let's go. Now, of course, take your time getting into position. So if you're not there yet, don't stress out. Don't freak out. Just jump right into it the way that you know how to and get this movement going. Okay, let's fire this through. Keep it going. Making sure that that band is up into that hip. We still got another five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Excellent job. We now are going to step into the bands. We are now going to jump out, back pedal back, jump out, back pedal back. Make sure all the weights are off the side. If you do not feel comfortable, if you need some additional rest, please take it. But let's get this going. If you wanted to run it out instead of jumping out, you can. Understand this is a little bit of a cardio plyometric explosive exercise that we're going to go for another five seconds here. Right? Come on, come on. In three, in two, in one, relax. Now slide over, grab your weights. Remember how I said we're going to work this hinge pattern now with weights in our hand. So if you do have weights, if you do have dumbbells, I want you to grab them and I want you to start this movement exactly when you get yourself in position. Now, what I love seeing is having a stance that is about a hip width stance, right? Not too wide. And I have the weights on the outside of my body. You want to make sure that you're feeling good with that hinge pattern. You see Lynn's, she has a gorgeous shoulder blades back. She's pushing her butt back, almost like closing a door with your butt, if you would. And she's letting the bands allow her hips to drive her back. And that is a position and why it's great to have that band around your waist because it creates that muscle memory. You guys can, can relax right now. I know it's been over 20 seconds, but I love just watching the form just looking good. All right, here we go. Get your heart rate up. How are you going to do it? I have Linz kind of jumping around. Do you still have your multi-bar up? If you do, you might've saw Linz do this earlier. Do those jump pops, right? You might go, well, is that a cardio exercise? It sure can be. Every muscle is engaged. You get that little pop going on, get your arms firing through. 
It's an excellent cardio exercise when you want to make it that way. When you jump and you pop and you run it through. I want to see another 20 seconds. I know we're going to go a little bit more with this cardio right here to get your heart rate up. If you don't like this dip pop action here, start sprinting it up. Do jumping jacks, jump ropes, fast feet. This is where I want you get your heart rate up and shaking out those muscles because guess what we are almost done with this workout can you believe it that we've already gone around 24 minutes and if you haven't got your sweat on yet i don't know where you've been for the last 24 because you got to train with intention bring it home fire through grab yourself a quicker drink water if you need it and let's get going into our third bout here all right you ready we're going to hammer this out one more time that first round was a really kind of practice set. The second round was where we started using the weight. And this third round, we're really going to work it because this has everything we need to, to bring this workout all together. So step that one leg into it. We're going right back into that split squat with weight preferred at this time. So we can maximize not only stability, the range of motion, hip flexor, wake up, <laughs> and making sure we're making the most out of this workout. If you need to, you can increase the weights. I got this little chirping bird on my left shoulder, Miss Lindsay. She, uh, she just added a second dumb. Oh, she's adding her second dumbbell. So if you have two dumbbells in your hand, right, you can hold it at your chest height again. Maximize this intensity for yourself by bringing yourself to another level. Let's switch legs if you can. Beautiful work. You can see, you know, Linz, myself, we challenge ourselves in these workouts too where we go, all right, let's add a little weight. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh yeah, she did. She added a weight. She put both of them by her side. That's the improv that you can create with any of the workouts that you do here. This is about you challenging yourself to a level that leaves you feeling amazing. And that's what it's all about is knowing that you have the strength to push through any little difficulties in your muscles, get something from today, make today today's workout the best workout you got because it might be the only one you have all right let's go let's go come on fire through two one and relax Lindsay has some really great form i know you do too let's go back with the band around our waist both feet are into it i want to see your jumps right fire through get your body moving and grooving squeezing those glutes let's go let's go you pushing hard. I see you. Come on, come on. Double up this intensity here. Let's make this the best set because it's the last set here where we are moving and grooving with it. Come on, come on, come on. Dig, 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 dig it out. Come on, come on. In three, in two, in one. Grab your weights again. We're going to go back to that RDL, banded RDL. Shoulder blades back maximize that range of motion weights are by your side allow the band to pull you back and it programs how this hinge pattern needs to be for you a lot of times we round our back a lot of times this form is not good you can see when you retract your shoulder blades back follow that band as it pulls your butt back you can then boom explode through all right let's make that happen because in five in four three, two, and one. Relax. Excellent job right there. I want you to take those bands off and I want you to do a little bit more of that cardio and we're going to fire it up, fire it up, make it work. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. We still have about 10 more seconds. Are you getting that heart rate up? Are you feeling it happen? Let's go. And in three, in two, in one, relax. I'm going to do it. We're going to go one more little thing. One more little thing. I want you to attach your blue band down at the bottom. All right, I want you to attach a blue band down at the bottom. You might need to go with a red band, but we're attaching a blue one. What we are going to try here today, all right, is I want you, I'm going to show Linz how I want to see this. 
is I want to see you come back and I want you to go and I want you to balance it through and I want you to kick it back. And then I want you to come through and I want you to kick the abduction. All right. So what I want to see you do, and this is going to be really quickly in time because you're literally just going from here to here. All right. And you know what? Do you want to make it a little bit harder? Do you like it looped? Do you like it long? Depending on how you want to have this be for you. Oh, Lens is just going to go with the green one. Yeah, that might be a mistake, but hey, whichever one you'd like to go to, I want you to go and I want you to kick this leg back, little flutters, all right? Now, you can see Lynn, she's really leaning into it to grab onto the multibar. Maybe that is what you need to do as well. But what I want you to do is work on that balance. I want you to just flutter it back. This has a little bit more of a core and balance sequence to it that I want you to fire through. Excellent. Now, I want you to, her <laughs> left leg is in there. And now what I want her to do is going out to the side, the abduction, right? Making sure that the band that has the, the leg that has the band around it is that you're going out this abduction with your body. And I want you to just fire it through little pulse, little pulse. So you can see here, Lindsay's using her green band, which is allowing her to get closer to the multibar so she can hold on to it. If you do have a blue band, you might be able to go out without holding on and doing more of that stability and balance. Whichever way you want to do it, you're good to go. Relax. Now we want to change legs. We want to change legs here. And I want you to go right into it. These are flutters. This is like a little bit of core activity. I know you might, it's not your traditional core where you're thinking about your abs, but you're thinking about stabilizing everything in your body to make it happen. All right, let's do this. Keep that going. Three, two, one. Now, Lynn's going to have to face away from the camera. So her back's going to be towards you and her back leg. So you'd like having that? Let's switch. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go with that abduction, right? Abduction. If you can, maybe you're not holding on to that multibar, but you are going to abduct the leg. You're going to go out to the side. You're going to have to fire up that core so you stay balanced. So understand this is what that whole component is. This isn't something that is going to get your heart rate jacked up. This is about core at this moment and balance. So this is how we're going to finish off the day as we kind of allow the body to come down and get this core to fire in three, two, one, relax. So now jog it out, shake out your legs, feeling good. Get your body set up because we are going to do one more. And I want to see you guys flutter it through, flutter, 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 flutter. Yeah, and if you might want to try that, I don't know if you want to try the blue. Well, I'm making it harder. So I got the band, the blue band. I just set it up for lens. I just looped, not even looped, I'm sorry, double carabined the uh, band up. Now that is going to allow her to have a smaller band closer to the multibar so she can hold it on. So as her coach, I was realizing what she can do. And now she's really hating me. <laughs> so now it brings her closer to the bar and I want her to flutter it through and just really work the pulses. All right. Can you try the pulses? Now you might only be able to do five, six, probably not more than 10 <laughs> before you have to relax, but I want you to try it through. All right. Now try that through. If you haven't gotten about 10 to maybe even 20 reps, I want you to stay with it, but I'm going to have Lynn's turn her body to the opposite side so that we can do the abduction. Remember, this is like Pilates-esque pulsing. I don't want to necessarily see this grinding out of trying to extend it as far as possible. I want to see exactly what Lindsay's doing here. I want to see you do, which is these slight little flutter kicks. I know it's a burner, but she'll thank me tomorrow. Maybe when her buns are toasty and hurting. <laughs> I love her smile. Let's go switch it right up. The smile of, I hate you. And what is going on? And I hope you're feeling the same way because you know what, as your coach, it's not always about you liking us. It's always about making sure, you know, you're getting better every single day. All right. Remember, we're going to start with the opposite leg with the flutter kickbacks here, flutter kickbacks, 
please pause whenever you need to, because it's important to rest if you need to practice that through. And these are the fun exercises we get to do on the live classes, right? You never know what you might get. And relax. Let's go. Lynn's is going to turn her back to us, and she's going to get that little abduction going on. Now, a lot of these movements would be super difficult to do if she did not have this multi-bar, especially with the blue band, the way that it's set up right now. So understand that if you were going to get a little bit more difficult to get that multi-bar going. So feel good, look good, because you want to be good, you know? And three, two, and one. Take those bands off. Let's jog it right up, because guess what? We only need to do two sets there. Lindsay's like, thank you, Anthony. How are you feeling? Are you sweeten? Your legs are burning, right? How are your legs feeling at home? Absolutely perfect. So as we run out of this live class here today, we want to thank you for being here. Bright and early in the morning on Wednesdays. And again, get your friends, anyone that wants to kind of come on. Those who have a stack track will totally enjoy the workout here. Hey, have a wonderful, wonderful day. We are so glad that you joined us. And if you have any questions or need anything, feel free to reach out to us. Follow us on Stack Tracks and just follow our journey. Everywhere we're going, we would love to help you guys out to make sure that you have a great, healthy, and happy life. So we'll see you next time on Stack Tracks Live. Take care.